Ramla's third question is about a fatwa from one scholar who said that playing PUBG, P-U-B-G, um, it has a long name to it, is kufr and blasphemous. And to my knowledge, I haven't played this game, I haven't seen it before, but I think that this scholar is referring to an update to the game where they have or the, where they inserted a certain idol that you have to go to as a player and bow to and offer sacrifice in order for him to give you special powers or for it to allow you to go to the second or the following stage, if I'm not mistaken. And this caused a lot of uh, 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 problems in the Muslim world and lots of the scholars have um, complained about it. And to my knowledge that those who designed it removed it. If I'm not mistaken, maybe it's another game. So if the sheikh was referring to this, yes, this is kufr. But playing it is not kufr. It's a major sin. See, we cannot, and this is a very important issue, we cannot say to everything that we see that this is kufr and implement it on individuals. There is general kufr. Whoever prostrates to an idol is a kafir. There's no problem in that. But to see Tom or Ahmed or John prostrating to an idol and condemn them as kufr, we have to be a bit patient and taking it slow and verify what they are doing. Maybe they would say that we were not prostrating. We dropped our sunglasses and we're looking at it. And you thought that we were um, prostrating. Maybe they think that this is not an idol and they're praying to the direction of Mecca. And, and there are so many reasons. So there are conditions to be fulfilled. There are obstacles to make sure that they do not exist before we give the label of takfir. So people who play such games are definitely sinful. If they disbelieve in such idols or in such powers that they're being given, but they just play it for the fun of it, it's a major sin. But if they believe that this idol does give life after death or does give benefits or does do things other than Allah Azza wa Jal, this is shirk, but nobody does this. So uh, we have to be a bit careful before jumping to conclusions and Allah knows best.